Did you know that research has confirmed that teen dating violence tends to occur more frequently in girls compared to boys? However, this issue still affects students regardless of their income, sexual identity, race, and religion. Teens are experiencing trauma at the hands of their own peers within their romantic relationships. Abuse within a teen romantic relationship can look very similar to domestic violence. Most teens report being sexually assaulted and pressured into sex by their partners before they are ready. Some teens report being pushed, slapped, punched, and choked by their romantic partners during fights. Other teens report excessive emotional abuse that looks like stalking, name-calling, being yelled at, and coerced into staying into a relationship that does not feel good. To this day, schools have no training programs for teachers to be able to identify teen dating violence, and administrators provide ineffective protocols to prevent further abuse. In most cases, when a student reports abuse, they are faced with questions about whether the abuse happened on the school campus. If the student answers no, then they are turned away to deal with the abuse on their own. If the student answers yes, then they are issued a stay away or a schedule change to keep them from being in the same class as the abuser. This is not sufficiently keeping students safe. This results in teens dropping out of school, developing depression and anxiety, being at risk of suicide or murder, and increasing their chances of abuse in adulthood. The lack of action from adults in a teen's life also leads to a reduction in reporting abuse because they feel like it doesn't matter to speak up. Given our research, teachers who spend most of their time with their students in return have been given more trust by their students than the administrators. Thus, we believe that training teachers would be the most successful and effective approach. It is crucial to pay attention to students' behaviors and how they disconnect from their own classmates and their regular after-school activities. Teens who are at risk of dating violence are more inclined to withdraw themselves socially. Although dating abuse may appear to be a social issue, it has the ability to affect students' academic performance and life outcomes. Those who have been physically assaulted by a partner are twice as likely to drop their grade score to a C or D than students who are not in an abusive relationship. Implementing programs like Dating Matters, which have been proven to decline teen dating violence, can be used as a guide to help teachers in providing strategies, learning different ways to approach teen dating violence, and how to provide resources for the victim. Teachers are the ones who are most likely to identify a potential harmful relationship among their students. With enough training, teachers will be able to recognize how to respond properly to a distressed student. This potentially prevents further abuse from happening and can support teens during their healing from experienced trauma within romantic relationships.